Professor Manny Bailey Hood Post, man. Who am I with today? Ladies and gentlemen, the California Trap, Trinity, Compton, Long Beach, Los Angeles. And you, it's your man that's always clean and got them promos that's also oh mean. The promo king himself, product. Five stacks account, baby. You know, building. What's that, in, baby? Man, what's good, five stacks? Listen, man, let's get right to it. Let's talk about the negatives and the positives of uh, today's platforms. Uh, we got No Jumper, we got Vlad, we got Cam, we got uh, Milk. Milk 74 is one of them. Uh, I think Milk is not so much as. You know, I don't think I'm not gonna put milk in that equation. I'm not. I'm gonna take him out of that. Okay. Um, and we got other platforms that somehow seems to pick up on the negative. Right. Talk to me about it and what you feel about that. Well, I mean, see, to me, it, it feels like the when you got the street media movement, because like during the pandemic, like you know, that's when you seen like the major growth when it comes to like the podcast movement, because people were kind of shut in. And they had to find some way to get entertainment. So, you know what I mean? So podcast, you know, being able to sit there and, and tap in and listen without having to see what, you know, and be that, that enables you to kind of submerge yourself in what you're hearing. So, you know, um, the streets are, have always had a voice. And, you know, I commend all of the platforms that have been able to harness the voice of the streets and, and do something and show something, you know, holding court for one. Um, what else you got? Street Legends. That's one street TV. That's another one. You know, there's many more. You know what I'm saying? That that really speak the truth, get the truth out of people, and don't really have like agendas. You don't put Kev back in that. Okay, oh, definitely. No, no disrespect to all of them. I'm, I'm talking about all, especially my black creators. Most definitely, like it's it's all due respect. I've been in the game for, you know what I'm saying, about four years now, podcasting, doing my show, and you know I've I've worked with a lot of people. You know, starting off on radio. You know, uh, shout out Kevin Nash, KJ LH. Um, accelerated radio, um, you know, Ilya Daly, that's my boy, uh, Jay Adam, that's my boy too. Like, just you know, real radio and podcast people. Let me, can I ask you a quick question? Yeah, of course. Okay, so because some of these, um, like a lot of people that down, like we, we hate, we really don't like the negative uh, podcast, right? We don't speak, yeah, Francis, no jumper, of course. We always say this, right? But then if that, like, no jumper, reach out to. The people that say, "Oh, we don't like no jumper, we don't like this, and we don't like that," because they promote that type of stuff. Right. Why is it that people do like the opposite? Like they they goes on a show anyway after they done, you know, said they don't like it for these reasons and not address it when they do go on a show. People have to understand something. Like I can't speak for any other um, platform that's not like a, a a black street platform because that's that's what I know. You know. So I'm gonna speak. I'm gonna speak on that behalf. I, I think that whenever that's a, those are black-owned businesses, and people don't understand that black-owned businesses are built different, man. We we was taught. We was taught. We always being lied to. So we don't really want to do business with too many people. Right. You know what I'm saying? So we make sure that we got our. You know what I mean? We when we bring people into our circles to work with us, you know, we expect them to trust us like we would trust them with our platforms. But so what happens is is they look at a platform like No Jumper, you know what I mean? And they look at them as reputable because they've been around so long. I, I think they look at their numbers. Yeah. Like, you know, it's just the numbers. I don't think they really care about what they talk about mm -hmm. or whatever. They just look at the numbers like, okay, he got a million um, subscribers or followers. They might, you know, see me and, yeah. and, you know, like me. But I've been seeing that a lot of people don't grow off of off that platform. No. Just be on there yeah. just for nothing. Yeah. So, so wait a minute, Randy, let me ask you this. So you're saying... Most of these people follow who they who they idolize in the trends. Yes. Oh, yeah. And that's specifically what they do. They don't look at the content per se no. or how good or bad. They just follow numbers. They just yeah. follow numbers. Yeah. Who they idolize and what's trending. That's right. I get it. Back to you. Uh, you talked about um, the streets, right? Mm. Streets died the moment everybody got on the internet. Mm. How do you account for that? I mean... I wouldn't say the streets have died, but I would say the spirit of what we thought was the streets has died because like I'm one of those people where, you know, my family went to incredible lengths to make sure I didn't get mixed up in anything in terms of gangbang. So what people don't understand is that when you grow up around it, but people are telling you you can't fuck with it like that, that gives you a hunger and a thirst to, to be around. it. And I don't know cloud chasing shit, but just want to want to have an understanding uh, uh, of that point of view and that perspective. 
So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah. Like so, like let me let me say something. Like this sweater. This represent. You 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 this know, let me can I touch you yeah, this okay? Of course, of course. This represent a lot right here. Yeah. You know, you not with the gang stuff, but you've been raised inside. You yeah, know, well this right here, well that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's that's cool segue because this sweater right here is my boy, um, you know what I'm saying? D and uh this is his clothing line and I've had this I've had this hoodie for a minute when I first started doing my promotions and stuff like that and, and he shot me this right here and it's exactly what it promotes the unity from all different sides and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And being around it and being around real people and understanding what the fuck it, it really takes to fucking stay stay alive out here, you know what I'm saying? You gotta respect that. And, and you know when it comes to if I could go back to the no jumper thing real quick, like see the problem is is that with the platform that Adam got, it's impressive in terms of the money, right? I'm I'm not gonna take that from the man. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't gonna make it about nothing racial. But I will I will say this. You 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 have to have a lowest common denominator. You feel me? And and I feel that the kind of content that he could put out could be shit that could change things for the better with how large that platform is. But that's not in his best interest. I'm not saying that's what he that he doing it to be yeah, like, evil. Like me, but it's not. Yeah. I do stuff because my best interest on people, and I do stuff because this is what I like doing. I right. like to help people, and I and I don't want to piggyback off nobody else. Right. Like, I don't piggyback because oh, I feel like this person cloud is up because I deal with a lot of people that have not been seen at all. Right, right. right so right. I don't think him sincerely is like that. You see, he wait until you get big and then trying to go grab you. But he already didn't see you. But it's just that okay, you in bullshit. I think like, he I think only you in bullshit. Like I, you gotta be in bullshit for him to get you. I and think I he no only interested. Way. I think Adam is only really interested. Uh, judging by the people that I've watched, he's got to watch your opponents because I've always, you know, we are competitors. So you know what I'm saying. I've watched his content for years, and when I tell you that, I see he's very selective about who he allows to to pull strings on this podcast. Anybody that comes on that show is somebody that can either ag incredibly agitate, you know what I'm saying, or already has, like, you know what I mean, has a platform of people that's going to rock with them regardless of what they say. But overall, it's going to be able to create something viral. I don't think he's any different from Leor Cohen. When Leor Cohen said, talent over issues. Yeah, exactly. So exactly. the flipping content over issues. Uh -huh. He's not concerned with black issues mm -hmm. because... No Jumper has become, obviously, a trash can. Mm -hmm. It's a trash can, <laughs> and there's uh, sex workers, and there's uh, drama. We've seen fights over there. We've seen uh, beefs break out over there. We've seen a numerous things take place over there that doesn't fit in our, what we would like to call our culture as far as the growth and development and the betterment of our culture. See, we, we should be looking for upper mobility versus tearing down you know always look to build up before you tear down right so when you go on no jumper most of the individuals go over there they looking to tear down and and, and I, I haven't seen much as because here's the thing when he when he threw his partners guys he was in business yeah for a guy that was clearly a racist yeah threw him that. no that's that's for real no the absolute. he took his wife yeah. And shared her with another man on, on the side. I don't. You know what, man? That that to me, that's the biggest thing to me. Listen, the, the, if you and then really okay, just, let me finish. Let go ahead, me go. go ahead. Adam like to check men packages. He like to he smell do, butt. He do that. He's he, done that he's on done, camera. Done, he's done that on so camera. that's what I'm saying. It, it's 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 an iniquity. It's workers of sex. It's it's co confusion. Mm -hmm. It's um uh, drama. It's just very sketchy uh, podcast, in my in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, it speaks to the opportunist in them, but it also speaks to the tone of what society is right now, to be real. Because there are other platforms. I'll be on YouTube, I'll be on these different platforms, and I see people that work hard to put together content, real content, true, like you, like you, Melly. Like, you take your time, you put together, and Rennie Lowe, y'all put together content, that's that's solid that's truthful that's honest you know what i'm saying but it's raw and it's gritty and people can respect that you know what i mean but the issue that i have with no jumper is it, it, just it's some of the people that he allowed to speak on there it's i'm the fuck, fuck what adam talking about because that nigga's not going to change he runs the platform you know i kind of he go he do what he do it's the people that he allowed some of them not all of them some of them on there is cool like like dw flame that's on there now like that's 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 much that's the bro you know what i'm saying he good 
It's Brick Baby. I, I but have at what cost? Man, he cool. You got to ask yourself, at what cost is he there? How is that? Do he foresee that that's going to help his career? Or in long terms, it's going to damage? Because, see, yeah, the lie has speed, but the truth got endurance. That's true. That's true. No, so no, when no. you look at it, and I'm going to tell you this, too, and, and this is for their side, all is fair in love and war. Right. That's true. That's true. All it is fair. Go, it definitely go there. It so does. if you're not conscious of aware of what's going on, in other words, in every day in each life, right, in the game, there's checks and balances. Right. If you forget to do checks and balances, the game going to send you a bill no, because right. you're going to be default in the game of life. That's a fact. No, that's a whole fact. That's a whole fact. And, you know, it's like certain, I don't know, man. It's like if you, if you pussyfoot around certain subjects when it comes to the topics that we talk about, you know what I'm saying? People are going to pay attention for that long and then move on for something that starts a fire, you know? And, and, it's, and it's like, how do we change that? Like, how do we change what the people like so that we can put what we're supposed to put in front of their face? Because, I mean, that's what keeps that shit perpetuating why more and more people come out with shows that's outlandish, embarrassing our own people. All they want to talk about is each other. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, man. Like, it could, it could be a lot well, better. I'm going to say this. With all the people on Clubhouse, right? Mm -hmm. What they have on their side is anonymity and distance. In other words, the anonymity is you don't know who they are. The yeah. distance is you don't know where the heck they are. Yeah, Clubhouse. So they can say anything they want to say at any given time. Yeah. And most of them that's on there don't do research. They don't look at data. They don't have statements of facts. They just go by what under one individual say and they run with that. Because he he got a loud booming voice and that seemed to be that seemed to be the thriller in Manila to all of them and they they seem to get carried away with it and mm. I don't know how they live off of that you know they, this, that's why I was gonna say Melly that you you can't make a living off Clubhouse there's only one person making money on Clubhouse and we know who that is so why are the people in there that are they that stupid we, no I wouldn't even say stupid as much as bored it's a lot of people in different areas that don't really got nothing going that's on. That's a dangerous boredom right there. It, it really is, but Sit I don't... in a room, in the room, bored. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I don't mind. It's a devil's workshop. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's that's where that comes from. Nobody making money on there, so it's kind of... Why, why? Clubhouse have been around for how long? And has it... How, like, does anybody talk about it? April like, 20th, nah, 2020. Nah, that's what I'm saying. April something about 2020. Doing the uh, pandemic yeah. when a lot of people were sitting at home, idle, like you said, didn't have anything to do, and Clubhouse became their day to day. That's real. But I appreciate this time that we're talking and we'll yeah, continue to do it again. Oh, yeah. And as we continue to draw, one thing I'm going to say that that black power sign is a positive. The blue and red, only thing black power can do is recruit them as soldiers, but their ideologies don't fit in black power. With that being said, lock the door. Lock the door. Lock the door.